Okay, I'm at a different location today, further up river. This is right after a big elevation drop in the river. I'm sitting on a little bar here. Just upstream of a little hole. You'll recognize the outfitters. Here's a hole, railroad tracks, and a little island over there, a little slough. I'm gonna continue on up the river and see if I can get into a gar hole. The trout fishing has kind of been not yielding a lot of results this year. They didn't do any stocking. Well, that's okay, there's plenty of native species. And uh, one that I've had a little success with here is gar. They tend to hole up downstream of a drop up here and prey on stunned bait fish. So to my left, river right, a little slough my right river left is the main channel and what I'll do I don't know if this is how visible this is you can kind of see some stair steps up there I'll push and drag the boat up those steps and uh, try my luck on the other side Okay, I've paddled and struggled and towed the boat up to the skinny water, past the geese, and here's the steps we're going to go up. And when I get to the top of the steps, there'll be some deep water or the gar hanging out, I think. Just like that, I'm over those uh, baby rapids. That technique works pretty good unless there's a giant hole on the other side and plunge down. Start questioning your choices. Lots of little holes. Kind of got to plan each step in a way that helps you survive. Getting to the point where we can see the promised land up there, smooth water. You also see how the water zigs back and forth. That actually kind of works to my advantage because it doesn't drag you down river. As you go up, I don't know how much of this you can see. You look at the river bottom where there's sand, the water's not moving as fast, so you're drawn to the still water, but the sand will cause you to lose your footing. And then the bigger rocks are in the deep, fast pools, so you can trick yourself and do the wrong thing there, too. Looks like I've got about two steps to go. That's kind of how this works. You go about five paddles, then you're hiking again. Here's a good example of some good bottom. Not too, uh, not too sandy and not too, uh, not too many boulders in it.
But this entire river kind of cuts through this stuff until you get down to Watts Bar Lake and then it gets deep and Lord only knows what it was like there, but all this uh, dolomite gets carved out. This reminds me of where I was wading in Alaska one time. I stepped on a fairly large boulder and it rolled. I took my left ankle with it. Kind of tucked it all up under me. And uh, there I sat for a little bit alone. Up to my particulars in ice cold tin and all water. I eventually kind of wiggled out of it, but uh, I wade on rocks a little differently these days, a little more uh, deliberately and try not to set myself up like that. Good view of what we just paddled and staggered through, really clear water. Great sight fishing water. One more step and I'll be in the paddle zone. Okay, this is far upriver as I plan to go. There are the little feature there called Devil's Shoot or Devil's Slide or Devil's Carport. I don't know, Devil something. It's a good place to lose your wristwatch, your wedding ring, both your paddles if you have a little boat like this. Not admitting anything, but uh, just saying. This is a real deep little canyon. The dude diving right here, I'll let him pass. He said there was some gar up in here. This probably is not a gar spot. I'll fish it both ways and start drifting. You just never know. All right, even a blind hog finds a nut now and then. Who do we have here? Little bass. The bite has not been good today, but I saw some fish flopping. So, got over here and found this dude. He's out with all his friends. But, uh, spotted some gar. Didn't catch him. And there he is. He might be a smallmouth. I'm not 100% sure on the ID when they get this small. I'll have to do some study when we get home. Alright, another one of our little bass friends here. He at least feels heavier than the last one. And we're going to have to do some de-hooking off camera. Alright, some delicate de-hooking work yielded some success this dude's heavy I don't know why he's all the leaded shot he's been eating anyway give him back to his buddies he did manage to spine me pretty good so I hurt him he hurt me it's all even okay there's a larger fish up in here but I cast about three times and Something large kept following me. We got a rainbow. Very rainbowish colors. Get him out and see what see what story he's got to tell. He's got some injuries on him. Alright, after action report. Back down towards the boat ramp. Doesn't look too fishy down here. My conclusion is fish are holding up there where the oxygenation is good it's kind of through the rapids and uh, I managed to catch a couple of little bass rainbow and then on my transit back down here I saw some pretty healthy sized fish both both varieties and uh, about ready to call it a day like I said it doesn't look too fishy down here so 
that's that. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Report part two. I totally forgot to talk about gar. Gar were the target species today. And uh, I saw just a very few. Spotted them. Surrounded them. Cast to them about a hundred times. And uh, it just didn't work out this time. But I, I can find them reliably. And I have found them in bigger numbers. So I'll hit them again one of these days. Now it's time to go to the boat ramp. And see what fresh hell awaits me there.